Uh, hey, Eli, what would you say stands out to you most about Iowa State's offense right now? Uh, Iowa State's got some really good playmakers right now. Their running back's a, a very good player. Their quarterback's experienced, and he's shown he can do a lot, and uh, he's capable with his legs. So they've got some playmakers on that side of the ball for sure. Uh, I want to ask you about one of your teammates. What's impressed you most about Echo Boydo and what he's been able to do at corner this season? Uh, Echo's been very impressive. Uh, he did a great job of just fighting, staying in there, kept working hard, even when he wasn't getting the reps. And then when his opportunity came, uh, he showed he can play, and he's done a great job thus far this season for us. What do you think makes him a good corner? Is it just speed or is it something else? Echo's fast. He's very fast, and that definitely helps. But uh, he's shown he's got some great technique, and I'm sure – uh, our coaches have gotten him ready for uh, every game. He's done a great job, though. All right. Thanks, Eli. Good luck this week. Thank you. Derek? Eli, you're kind of one of the older players on the team, and even though this is your first year starting, you've seen some attrition in the last few weeks. How challenging is it to be a college student right now with everything that's taking place? It's unique. Um, it's definitely unique. It's a new challenge. Um, I just started grad school, so it's a uh, – not quite what I was expecting, but uh, it's been all right. It's just a little adjustment. Everything's online for the most part, but uh, the academic staff and everyone here has still been great in helping everyone stay on track and get their stuff done. Just how important is it this year for the older guys to kind of mentor and help out those younger players? Because it's probably more challenging for them, especially the ones not from Kansas. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely important this year. I mean, every year, uh, we have a big role in, in keeping the younger guys uh, in line and, and mentoring them because it, it's tough when you first get here. It's not easy. Uh, people get homesick. People go through stuff they haven't haven't been through before. And then with all the new stuff thrown into it this year, it's tough. So uh, us, us older guys definitely have uh, had to take on a, a new role, a, a bigger role of just mentoring these guys and uh, trying to be there for them as much as we can. And Coach Kleiman a couple weeks ago called Drew Wiley the MVP of your guys' defense. You play next to him quite a bit. What makes him as special as he is? Uh, Drew Wiley's awesome. He's a super smart guy, super hard worker, probably the strongest guy on the team. Uh, he just attacks every day and uh, doesn't take any any plays off. So he, he, he prepares hard, works hard in practice, and he's just you know he's going to be ready every single Saturday. So that's awesome. And last question. Uh, you guys are – you know, utilizing a true freshman quarterback, and you probably go up against him quite a bit of practice. Has he made a giant improvement from the time that he started playing up until now? Absolutely. I mean, he's he's playing a, a very tough position, and uh, he got thrown into the fire early. And uh, I think he's doing a great job working hard and uh, really been improving throughout this year. Thanks. Adam. Back to back losses, and then now with the bye week, are you? seeing any extra energy from you and your teammates to get back on the winning track on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, it's it sucks when you lose. No one likes losing. I think you could definitely say that people are, are approaching things a little differently. Uh, there's definitely some, been more more intensity out there, more energy, and just people wanting to get back on, on the wins. You know, it's, it's tough losing. It sucks. Last one here, Arnie. Yeah, uh, Coach Clements talked about the defensive line really having been the strength of the team this year. And you you obviously had some, if not unproven players, certainly guys that hadn't, hadn't seen as much action. Are you surprised at all by how well you guys have been able to, to gel, especially with, with so many new faces? Uh, no, I'm not really surprised. I, I've been able to see uh, everyone playing, obviously, the last few years behind the scenes of practice and stuff. And We've got great coaches, great D-line coaches. Coach Wyatt and Coach Tui are incredible. Um, so I knew that we were going to be ready this year. And I, I saw how hard we were all working this offseason. I knew that we were going to have some success this year. And fortunately, we have. Do one more here, Ryan Black. Hey, uh, Eli. Uh, Coach Kleiman, when, when he spoke with us earlier, he said that he thought Echo, going back to him for a second, was the fastest player – or I'm sorry, is the fastest player on the team. Is that – based off what you've seen just in practices and whatnot. Do you, do you agree with that? Yeah, I got to say, Echo is fast. If, if I was going to pick someone, it's probably him to be the fastest on the team, for sure. How many second head start would you have to get to beat him? <laughs> oh, man. If we're running 100 yards, I'd probably need 
probably three seconds to, to beat Echo. At least he can fly. <laughs> I appreciate it, Eli. Thank you so much. Appreciate you.